Oxford High School prepares for the Starkville Yellow Jackets this week for the Junior Egg Bowl. After an embarrassing performance last year at home, the team hopes to more than redeem themselves in the pursuit of a state championship. Well, uh, Starkville's a, a very good 6A football team, and, and uh, they, they're, we're playing in their backyard. It's going to be on the ESPNU, and uh, there's going to be a lot of excitement in the air, but uh, when, the, when the ball's kicked off, it comes back down to who wants it the most, and, and our guys are going to have to play hard. We, we didn't play real hard last year. We didn't start the game off very good, and they jumped out on us. And it's very important that we, we play our game and play with a chip on our shoulder early and, 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 and do what we do. After last year's loss, star wide receiver DK Metcalf knows how big the stage will be Friday night. This will be the seniors' last time playing in the Junior Egg Bowl before heading to Ole Miss next fall. It would mean a lot, you know, since they beat us down here real bad on our own field. Um, just to, you know, just give, get it back, get back at them, uh, knowing some of the, they have some big time recruits and this is their senior year and their last time playing Oxford, you know, just to, for them to go out with the loss and us to come on top is going to be real nice. Quarterback Jack Abraham's recruitment is heating up. In the past month, he received offers from Cal and Louisiana Tech despite committing to Tulane back in April. Even with the game on ESPNU, Jack still has his head in the right place. Oh, it'd be huge. You know, last year we got killed by them on our home court too. So, you know, it'd definitely be huge to, to beat them on uh, national TV. But, um, you know, I mean, I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be fun. The Chargers aren't the only team looking for redemption this week. Last week, Starkville lost to Huxabee County in a close one. With both teams playing with the chip on their shoulder and the game being televised on ESPNU, it is bound to be a good one. For Sports Watch, I'm David Kennedy.